After Msambweni member of parliament Suleiman Dori and his counterpart from Malindi Aisha Jumwa being accused of dancing to the tune of Deputy President William Bruto in his presidential ambitions and openly declaring their support to him. Maresha Jumwa Ndo, Maresha Jumwa Jibu, Mara Nigi Munini, Nagodi Sema to Peleka Kanani, Ukasama to a Jordan in Namamba, Namimi Nafeju to a Jordan in Takati Fule, Hauna Tamburu Kenge. On Thursday, they found themselves in hot soup after the party decided to crack the whip against the two coastal legislators who are said to defy the party's constitution by expanding them from the party through adopting the report by the disciplinary committee which recommended their expulsion. The NEC has adopted the recommendation of the disciplinary committee to have the two legislators, namely Honorable Aisha Jumwa and Honorable Suleiman Dori, expelled from the party and has forwarded those recommendations to the National Governing Council of the party for ratification in accordance with the constitution of the ODM party. ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna said the council has already forwarded the names of the duo to the National Governing Council for ratification, revealing that with immediate effect they will call upon the National Assembly Minority Whip Junet Muhammad to write to the Speaker Justin Muturi to do whip the two leaders from the parliamentary committees. That the two members of parliament be de-whipped immediately from all parliamentary committees that they serve in the National Assembly with immediate effect and that the minority whip of the party, Honorable Junet Mohammed, should move with speed to make the communication to the leadership of the House. Jumwa, after presenting her defense before the committee, however dismissed the reports that they ever appeared before a disciplinary committee, saying she doubts on the genuineness of the report the committee used to make its decision blaming them. Uh, according to my understanding, Mimi Siku appeared before any disciplinary committee. I appeared before an individual. Ambaye anaitwa Fred Atwok. Kwa hivyo ile story ambayo iko kule nje ya kwamba disciplinary committee ime recommend ya kwamba Aisha Jumwa atolewe kwa chama, Fred Atwok ndo anajua. It's not a committee. Anajua. And I know zile sababu za kwamba ni kwa nini aliandika hiyo report. Like, the two leaders who are flanked by a section of coastal leaders have claimed that ODM deputy party leader Ali Hassan Joho, who doubles as Mombasa governor, is responsible for orchestrating their exit from the party. Mtu mmoja ambaye hiyo Mombasa ameharibu chama ya ODM. Mtu mmoja ambaye amevuruga na kuhakikisha kwamba amesambaratisha ODM katika sehemu hiyo. Na huyo mtu ana jina ni Ali Hassan Joho. Umetangaza vita, tutaileta Mombasa. The embattled legislators have however insinuated to have accepted their mistakes by asking the council to pardon them from any wrongdoings in the spirit of the handshake. kusema kwamba yule ambao ni deputy party leader kuwa hakuto kuwa na taratibu za kisawasawa katika sisi kupata haki yetu hiyo siti shio kwetu sisi. Sisi tunajua chama ni cha wa Kenya. Chama si cha mtu binafsi. Under the spirit of the handshake, mimi kama isha jumwa, ni kitu gani ambacho hakiwezi kusamehewa hivi sasa. Na tukasema yote ambayo ya mefanyika, ya kochini ya maji, tunaanza mwanzo mpia. The two leaders may end up contesting their respective seats again in a by-election if the registrar of political parties, Ms. Anderito, gives a go-ahead to the request by the Raila Odinga-led party to have the two leaders expunged.